revving up the excitement of their remarkable 120 years of legacy. Harley-Davidson has made a thunderous statement with the unveiling of their exclusive and latest CVO models, the Street Glide and the Road Glide. As the flagship motorcycles of the exclusive custom vehicle operations CVO line, these two iconic rides aim to redefine the boundaries of performance, style, and innovation, leaving avid enthusiasts and casual onlookers in awe. In this video, we will delve into the awe-inspiring specifications of these extraordinary motorcycles. Anniversary bikes themselves have become something of a Harley specialty over the years. The first marked the firm's 50th anniversary, although they appeared a year late in 1954. And since the 85th anniversary in 1988, there have been special anniversary models every five years. 2023 isn't an exception. Marking their 120th year in January, Harley-Davidson released seven limited edition anniversary models, including the Street Glide Special Anniversary and the Road Glide Special Anniversary. Still in the celebration mood, the company released another CVO model on June 7th, this time the most exotic ones. Since its debut in 1999, the Custom Vehicle Operations CVO, initiative has served as an exclusive assortment of top-shelf Harley-Davidson cruisers. Though inspired by the company's mass-produced offerings, the CVO, or Screamin' Eagle, as they were called pre-2009, TAG brings jazzed-up components for an unmatched experience. But 2023 marks the 120th anniversary of the bike maker, and it's only fair that Harley-Davidson went all in with this year's CVO lineup. Harley's recent CVO models are the Road Glide and Street Glide. Unlike previous CVO motorcycles, these recently produced baggers just share the names with the mass-produced 2023 Road Glide and Street Glide while doing their own thing everywhere else. More importantly, they feature a few firsts for the company's bagger lineup and mark a new revolution for the worldwide iconic bike maker. One of the qualities that sets these bikes apart from their predecessors is their engine. The CVO Road Glide and Street Glide debuted Harley-Davidson's all-new engine, the Milwaukee 8 121 powerhouse. Since 2018, Harley-Davidson CVOs have been equipped with the Milwaukee 8 117 engine. The 2022 CVO lineup was powered by this 1,976 cc V-twin and even serves in non-CVO cruisers today. But that changed in 2023 with the Street Glide and Road Glide featuring an all-new Milwaukee 8 121 CI engine. According to Harley, this engine yields 8% more torque and 9.5% more horsepower than the former. For context, the 1,977cc engine is rated to produce 115 horsepower at 4,500 RPM and 139 pound-feet of torque at 3,000 RPM. It also welcomes a variable valve timing system, the VVT, which we have only seen on the Revolution Max 1250 engine so far will be a first for any Harley-Davidson bagger. This VVT is accompanied by newly designed four-valve cylinder heads that are cooled by an upgraded cooling system that incorporates new channels for coolant flow around the exhaust valve areas. An electric pump circulates the coolant first to the hotter rear cylinder head, then to the front cylinder head, and then to a new radiator located low on the front of the frame and backed by a thermostatically controlled fan. Airflow from the fan is directed below the motorcycle for enhanced rider and passenger comfort especially at low vehicle speeds. These cylinder heads feature a reshaped combustion chamber with oval intake ports, low-profile intake valve seats, and an enhanced squish band, which together increase intake air velocity and tumble and accelerate combustion to improve performance and fuel economy. Also, the CVO Street Glide and Road Glide come with advanced underpinnings. Like the engine, the previous generation of CVO motorcycles only differed a little from the non-CVOs, comprising similar telescopic forks, mono shocks, and wheels. All these have changed in these 2023 CVOs models. The CVOs come with a new suspension, with an inverted 47mm Showa fork offering 4.6 inches of travel up front but the limitation is that there is no option for adjustment. At the back are a pair of Showa outboard emulsion shocks offering more modest 3 inches of movement. 
though at least they're adjustable for preload via a remote hydraulic adjustment knob near the left saddlebag. The new CVO's model's braking performance also gets a boost thanks to larger diameter front discs and premium Brembo components. The dual front disc brakes, now 320 mm, are gripped by radially mounted four-piston Brembo calipers, while the single rear brake features a two-piston Brembo caliper with a 300 mm disc. It's safe to say that this new suspension and brakes will eventually replace the old setup on non-CVO models as well, which in our opinion marks the start of a new chapter for the iconic bike makers. It also shows that Harley Davidson is finally changing its ways to become a better bike maker and meet up with its rivals. But Harley not only empowers their CVO flagship motorcycles in terms of performance, both the Street Glide and Road Glide comes with unmatched design and features. The CVO Street Glide design might seem unnoticeable at first glance, but there's a substantial refinement from its predecessor. One of the distinct features of the touring bike is the redesigned batwing fairing which keeps the old T configuration, but simplifies the silhouette with the split-stream vent now completely integrated into the design. As a unique feature, the amber LED turn signals of the LED headlamp now function as integrated parts of the left and right lamp elements for a cleaner overall appearance. For a dramatic effect, additional LED light shines from the main bowl along the fairing's left and right flanks. The combined rear brake tail and signal lighting are now located between the saddlebags and the rear fender. And for even more drama, the illumination continues to be lit for 10 seconds after you turn off the bike. The ergonomic design of the Street Glide is also improved, with a redesigned seat and padding that place the rider's hips in a neutral position to lessen the strain on the back and neck. To better accommodate the rider's hand size or preferences, the front brake lever can also be modified in length. The standard heated grips may also have their temperature changed either directly on the grip or via the infotainment display. As for the infotainment, the boom. Box is replaced with a 12.3-inch TFT touchscreen that is 90% larger diagonally than the previous models and takes the place of the majority of the switches on earlier CVOs. It runs on a brand new operating system called Skyline which supports Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, but not Android as of press time, and a variety of other add-ons. Both CVO models also come with a premium, high-performance Rockford Fosgate Stage 2 Harley-Davidson audio system, which is accompanied by 6.5-inch fairing speakers and Stage 2 3-way 5x7-inch saddlebag speakers. This system is driven by a new 4-channel, 500-watt RMS amplifier, 4 driving modes, Rain, Road, Sport, and Custom can also be accessed through the new touchscreen, which is a first on CVO Street Glide and Road Glide models. Each mode is set up to offer a particular mix of engine braking, power, anti-lock braking system, and traction control system involvement. Both of the new CVOs have cornering traction control and ABS, as well as cornering electronically linked brakes, cornering drag torque slip control, vehicle hold control, and tire pressure monitoring systems. The CVO Road Glide model receives many of the improvements that the Street Glide gets, including the same engine, suspension, and ergonomic design. The visual aspect, some stylistic variations, and small details are where they differ. The classic shark nose fairing that's signature on every Road Glide gets an aggressive update with more angular shapes. The new fairing matches the shape of the fuel tank in the back and the front engine cylinder in the lower half, while the pinstriping echoes some of the saddlebag design. In a nod to a distinctive aspect of earlier road glides, a single LED headlamp is given a wide, horizontal design that gives the impression of having dual elements. The forward lightning comes in a W shape, which gives it clear illumination, although the amber turn signals are now incorporated into the outer part of the main lightning eliminating the previous bullet turn signals. The CVO Road Glide and CVO Street Glide both have the majority of the same basic surface designs, but the CVO Road Glide has new movable vanes at the back edge of its fairing that, according to Harley Davidson, may be used to modulate airflow to the rider's torso for preferred comfort. The handlebar of the CVO Road Glide features a wider, flatter bend than the previous design,
which allows for 27 degrees of flexibility and places the rider's hands in a more natural position for long distance riding. According to Harley, by using various materials and techniques, the dry weight of both bikes has been considerably reduced. In comparison to the earlier versions they replace, the CVO Street Glide and CVO Road Glide each weigh 31 and 35 pounds less. The two bikes are available in two different color options, gray and light orange, with a price range of $42,999. And that's a wrap on the new CVO model released by Harley-Davidson. Which of the two bikes piqued your interest? Let's know in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more amazing content and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our updates.